Hello and welcome to this tutorial of the Lost in the Sea series, where we're gonna start animation by doing something extremely simple, which is animating a low poly ocean with shape keys. And for those who just got to these tutorials, we created a low poly ocean with a plane subdivided around five times and added a displace modifier. Then we press this new button to add a texture. Press this icon to go into texture properties and in the type drop down menu select noise. Go back to this place modifier and push the strength values higher to something around 5. And that's it for our low poly ocean. Now push another window from here and select dope shit. Don't mind about those keyframes, cause I already animated the trees and the pirate chest that will be in the next tutorials. And as you can see, if you move the curse in the dope sheet, this modifier is really hard to animate. And without using code or shaders, we are left with shape keys. But first, let's duplicate this ocean with Shift D, and without deselecting it, let's move it to another layer with M as a backup. Now, go ahead apply the displace modifier, and we have a low poly ocean that you can edit. To know more about our simple water material, go check the tutorial left in the description, which is basically the first tutorial of the Lost in the Sea series. And now, with the ocean selected, let's go around here, down the vertex group, and we have the shape keys, where we can press this plus sign to add the basis key. And the basis key is the basic state of the geometry of the ocean. So we have to press again the plus sign, to add the first key that we can rename to something like moving up. Go to edit mode with tab and to avoid selecting each vertice one by one, let's press spacebar and type in select random, then press enter. And now as you can see, we have randomly selected a bunch of vertices. Just unselect the ones you think that shouldn't be moving, like these ones near the island. And we can move up with G along the Z axis to something like this. Press tab to go to the object mode and if you play with this value slider, you can see that it has already taken effect. Set the moving up key to 0, select the basis key and press the plus sign to add another key, which we can rename to moving down. Enter in edit mode and select the vertice by pressing two times A and we can hit the spacebar and press enter since the select random is already there. Now be careful to not select vertices that you don't want as we did before and we can push everything down a little bit. Now in object mode we go to the frame zero in the dope sheet and by pressing with the right mouse on the value of the moving up key we can insert a keyframe. Around the middle of your animation, in this case it will be 125, we can push the values to 1 and insert another keyframe. Now, to make sure everything blends in nicely, we have to make sure that the end of our loop is the same as the start. So let's set a keyframe in the zero value. Do the same thing for the moving down shape key. Press Shift A to play the animation and you can see it has not a lot of diversity. One, because this animation is small. Two, because we have to create some randomness. So set some keyframes elsewhere and make sure nothing moves quickly or artificially. We can add more life by creating two more shape keys. and. The first one will be the moving right and the second moving left. So basically we do the same thing in edit mode after you have randomly selected some vertices like we did before. We can turn on proportional editing on with O and then move to the side a small amount or a big amount depending on the feeling you want to give. You can control the area of influence of the proportional editing with the scroll wheel up and down. Do the same thing for the left key, if you want some more detail. And now we basically keyframe and animate everything, create some natural randomness 
until we reach something you like. And that's it, we have animated our ocean. Well, in Unity, it would be a bit different. Probably, we would have a shader or a script to animate the water. Or, you can create several animations like this one, composed of something like 250 frames. And then, we can randomly blend between those animations in Unity. But, that's basically it. I only ask you to subscribe if you like it, there will be plenty more tutorials of game development. So yeah, stick around and uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.